Hi guys, today I'll be showing you the basics of horse. Let's go. First, you have this box which has bandages and leg wraps. Right here you have the grooming. Then you have a hay bag. You have your horse saddle. Your um, bridle. And then you have mar margale. And then you have this thing which is really, don't get me started. Halter. <laughs> A really pink halter. Okay. I'll be showing you the horses. Stay here, please. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to be going to get my horse now. So, here's my horse. The way to put your halter on, you get the nose band slide their nose into it and then you get this extra piece right here and put it through put it through the loop you just gotta put it through the loop again so double loop it yeah And there you go. And then you have a horse ready. And you can hang it up like this if you had a barn like this. So there's these cross ties that you just put it to the side. Or and you can like hang them in. This is a lead rope. Which you will put at the bottom right here on the extra uh, ring. And then the way I tie it is I get a little loop, put it through the ring, and then go get the extra, put it through again, and then again, and then again, and then one more time. And then it looks like that. So a triple looper. Yeah. Okay. Not even triple. A big looper. And then... This is optional, but it's a hay bag, and I'm gonna you go ahead make and it. fill it up with hay, which is hashtag string. That kind of string, like that. So you just put it in there and then close it up. And there you got yourself a hay bag. And then you hang it up, it. and they can eat it. I'm gonna go ahead and untie this so I can just use the. ties on. This is not torture, by the way. A lot of people think it's torture. It's really not. You're just tugging it up. These ones are kind of short, but they'll work. Really need to make them longer. And then, and this is the final product. This is your grooming which has thing. all your essentials that you'll need for a horse. So, first, we have the. You will need your rubber curry comb. Curry comb. Then you will need your soft, soft brush. brush. Then, and this is your hard brush. Your hoof pick. You definitely need. And then if your horse is super dirty, dirty, this is a metal curry comb. Here's some fly spray. What you need. This is, no, that's detangler. This is fly spray. And then that one there. And then this is hoof oil. Hoof oil, okay. And then this right here is a sweat scraper, which you use after you hose them off. Okay, that's all you need. And all the things that I don't use right now I'll put away yep so first you'll use the curry comb and go in circular motions all around your horse 
like sort of a massage. And then once you're done with that, you get the hard brush to brush them down and brush all of the extra dirt because what the curry comb does, it, it brings all of the dirt to the surface, to the surface of the hair, and then you brush it off with the hard brush. And then the soft brush you use on their face to get all of the dirt off. Is that a cute face? And then this hoof pick, obviously, you use for the hooves. And then I'll use fly spray. And then hoof oil. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> and then after that, I'll pick my sound, sound pad. pad. I'm gonna be using this white one or this pink one today. We'll be showing you how to put it on. And then I'm gonna get my bounce pad because her back sometimes hurts, so I just use it. Yep. Then I just use one anyway. Because it really hurts. Any other horse. And then I put the saddle pad on. It may look big, but it's not. The bounce pad you'll put on. And then you'll get the saddle. And my bridle doesn't match the saddle. It usually matches my other horses because he has a black bridle. She yeah. has a brown one. So we'll just situate with that. And then we will straighten up the saddle. And then we will then tighten the girths. And I'm just taking her out of the cross ties now that everything's on. So we, we can get some. And remember, rest. this is not abuse. Yeah, it's not. Except the bits, but I don't yeah, use yeah, bits. Yeah, we don't use bits. So. Our rule is no bits for horses. They should be able to run things freely. And look and at that tattoo! <laughs> so you just tighten it as much as possible. Or as much as you can. Yeah, but not too much can. to hurt it. Yeah. So and make sure it's not his belly is not sucked in. Because they will do that. Then once all of that is done, you have to um, put them up. Make sure you guys stay organized. And then I will put the martingale on. I'll slide it over this. I really shouldn't have tightened the girth yet. Because what you need to do, you need to put it in the girth like that. Sort of like a breastplate. Yeah. But it's a martingale, yeah. and so it, they don't swing their head. She doesn't need one. My other horse needs one, but I'm just putting it on her. Just oh, we have tons of horses in this farm, so yeah. they all need special things. Mm -hmm. Like different foods, different medicines, different tack. We will do another video on what our horses eat. Mm -hmm. And their diets that they need. To be healthy in okay, life. Okay, and then before we put the bridle on, we will be putting my show boots on. Which you can add if you want, but you don't yeah, have you to. Don't These are them. accessories. It's so uh, her feet don't hit together. So, so they don't rub together. Back feet. Um, I don't think we need the back ones. I, don't, I think my other horse needs the back ones. But here are the wraps. We'll put her around her leg. And this does not hurt her. These yeah, it are really soft and cushiony. I mean, it might feel weird, but, but like once you helps first them. put it on, it might feel weird, but, but they'll get, they'll used, get to used to it. Yeah. It'll help them. like a big bandage yeah but Easy. obviously you don't not need a bandage. to um like it's not healing a wound no. or anything it's just there to protect it okay and once that on once that is on we will put 
the halter around her neck, not tight, just loose, and then undo the bridle. And then get all situated and put the rings over her head and then take the halter off. And then just slide it on because obviously you don't need to slide the bit in unless you're using a bit. Which we really don't advise, but we are not your parents. Yeah. Or yourself. And then so you can do what you a want. Little buckle to put it in there and you can just slide it in yeah may take some patience cuz they are small yeah very very small but once you get it in you get sweet relief <clears throat> and then once you're done with the throat latch now you need to go to the nose band but if you have individual bridles for your horses cuz like if you use bits they all need certain kinds of yeah. bits um, usually the nose band doesn't hurt them come off so because like obviously it's just for that horse but some horses that need martingales usually their nose band is always open so. look at that cute face because as you can see you slide it onto the nose band and also this part, I made it cushiony so it doesn't like rub against the horse. And there you so go. it has sweet comfort. That's how to take your fawnest horse. horse. So majestical. <laughs> and then when you're done, obviously you can just take it off again. You'll tack, untack, untack your horse, her. Take everything off. Put them back where they're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Undo everything. And then you would hose them off. And then I'm drying the paddock. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Bye.